Today, I'm actually opening up a $100 Chrono Toys New Year's Eve High Roller Funko Pop Mystery Box. So I've had this thing for probably about a month-ish. So there's four mystery boxes in one box, 25 bucks a mystery box. But before we start that, guess what? We've got an appetizer to start with. This is also a Chrono Toys Funko Pop Mystery Box. This is $15 shipped. The odds of getting out of common pop in this, it's, it's high, but you can also you can get out some exclusives, some rarities, rarely, but you can. But this is the appetizer warming up for the bigger box. Here we go. Warm this video up. Let's get going. Small mystery box to start with. A little appetizer. So this is part of the Chrono Toys Challenger series. They do like every Monday. They'll sell like 500 boxes. And you have a chance at like some pretty high end stuff. But it's very, very slim to actually hit. I've hit like one time, I think. I think I once. What do we get? The back says... The Superman looks like it is the Breast Cancer Superman. Yup. It is the Breast Cancer Superman. This is the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. In celebration of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Funko has made a $25,000 donation to Breast Cancer Research Foundation, whose mission is to prevent and cure breast cancer by advancing the world's most promising research. The Pink Batman. It's actually, it looks, looks kind of cool though. First time I've seen this one. We're gonna look at the WhatNot app for value. What not, you can actually, you can just scan the barcode and it will tell you what the value is. And if you don't want it, you can sell it straight on the Whatnot app. First one. Ooh, that's not too bad. $13. 13 bucks. So with the warm up, the appetizer, $15 shipped, I got back 13 bucks in value. And it's actually a pretty cool pop. The, the pink, uh, I think I called it super, uh, I called it Batman, I think. I think I did. Superman. I think I called it Batman earlier. That was a mistake. Okay, here we go. The $100 Funko Pop Mystery Box. $25 a mystery box. These should be should be individually boxed with one pop per box, I think, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. Yes, it is. One, one per mystery box. So this was not a damaged mystery box. Because they did sell some damaged mystery boxes over um, New Year's Eve. These are not damaged ones. So nothing in here should have... They, they could have some minor box wear on them, like super small creases. But there shouldn't be any actual damage on these four boxes. Each one of these were $25 a piece. These, I don't think they were guaranteed value. But more than likely, they probably won't have you lose much more than, let's say, like $5 a box, I bet. I'd be shocked if I lost more than like 5 bucks. Here we go. First one. What goodies are in this one? If one of these is in a pop protector, like like a soft one, you automatically know you hit something good. No pop protector. We have, looks like a Sailor Moon. We have Sailor Venus and Artemis. I know my stepdaughter is a huge fan of the Sailor Moon series. This came out, looks like, in... October of 20. Sailor, Moon, and whatever I said. There's, there's a girl and a cat. Sailor Venus. Okay, so we actually look up a whatnot app for value of this. You can, like I said earlier, I think I said it, you can just scan the barcode. It'll show you on the app the PPG value is coming in at, whoa, $35, really? That's not bad. 35 bucks. So that first pop actually came out 10 bucks in profit in terms of potential profit. This box is like mint condition too. It's fantastic condition. So pretty happy with, with that. Actually can turn a profit. Turn a profit. Let's see. Will these next three also turn a small profit in each box? It'd be super cool if they all got a little bit more money back than what I paid. Let's find out. Box number two. Come on, something big. Come on. I know I've had a lot of luck with Colonel Toys boxes, especially 2020. Like, they had good value in their boxes. No pop protector. Let's see what we got. $25 a box. 
we have the Mandalorian. This is... Who's exclusive was this originally? Was this Amazon? No. I'm not sure who's exclusive this was. This is obviously this is overseas, the overseas shared sticker of this one. Once again, we're going back to the Whatnot app to see values. And also, all these pops, like these do not come in kind of pop protectors, but don't worry. Whenever I do sell these pops in a future Whatnot auction, I'll have them all in seven bucks of pop, pop shield pop protectors. Uh, check them out down below. That is my preferred choice for pop protectors whenever I sell my Funko Pops. So, manned on a Whatnot app. Looks, oh, it's exclusive to GameStop. 18 bucks. Ooh, so, wow. Lost seven bucks on this one. So, the, the, like, like the $10 profit and value man, the first one, just got slashed. How much did I say this was? 18 So, the first two boxes were, were 50 bucks total. I'm now down to 53 total. So, the first box, that was a pretty nice one in there. Box number two just took a big chunk of, of what I made on that first box. That's mystery boxes for you. But at least, though, this Mandalorian is at least in, in like, a, a store exclusive. So, it's worth more than a common Funko Pop would be, like, a $10 pop. So, that's a positive. Always think positive. Here we go, box number three. Come on, something big. Come on. Fingers crossed. Pop protector. Nope. What do we got this time? Come on, something big. The back says, My Chemical Romance. Gerard Way Red Tie Hot Top Exclusive. Okay, they just restocked this last year, I think it was. This was kind of like a grail, but then they re or I think one of the Gerards they restocked last year might have been this one. But box condition on this, it's mint. It's mint. That looks really good. So once again, we're going back to the Whatnot app. We're looking at $90, really? It restocked last year. Looks like it didn't really hurt value much. Let me just go ahead. Let me check the Funko app just to see what value on the Funko app might be. But Funko app, though, use that with like a grain of salt because Funko app, their actual app themselves can be way off on prices a lot of the times. Nope. Funko app also it says 90 bucks. Okay, we got a good hit right there. We got a $90 hit. Gerard Way with red tie, 90 bucks. This is it came out originally in 2016, but this is the October 2020 restock. $90 hit. That one pop right there almost paid for all four. That's a good hit right there. I'm very happy with that. And the pop is also mint condition. Go ahead, add that into the total. Our total just got crazy good. We're now at $143 with one pop left. So no matter what, I'm gonna get at least 1.5 times my money back. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I've been very happy with Chrono Toys for several years now, and I, I I keep buying from them, you know what I'm saying? I keep buying. Last mystery box in this video. No pop protector, so you saw that one. No pop protector, and it was worth 90 bucks. So if there's one that, isn't a pop protector? That could be a huge hit. Last one. We've got the back says Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Oh, shoot. That's a good one. I think that was like a $100 pop right there. No way. That is freaking awesome. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. This is the Hot Topic exclusive with overseas sticker. This is the Glow Chase. Wow. I'm happy with that. That's a good hit. Okay. The common one, just the common one, is 17 bucks. The Glow Chase right now is worth $100. A hundred bucks. Wow. Wow. That was a good mystery box. hundred bucks, 243 in PPG value. Almost got 2.5 times my money back. I got one pop out worth a hundred, other one was worth ninety, one worth thirty-five, one worth like eighteen. So that was a good mystery box. That was a wise invest. So hopefully everybody had such nice pulls on your New Year's Eve high roller mystery box for Colonel Toys, because I'm happy with this. I'm glad I bought I bought four. This was my box.
my wife also bought a box of four and you'll see that in the next Colonel Toys Mystery Box video on this channel.